Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna to show you how I got this look using mostly Sigma. I'm so excited. I've been asking like secretly praying, well not secretly because I have mentioned it in videos, that I wish Sigma would add me to their PR list and I received an amazing gift yesterday of so many brushes, blushes, bronzer, highlight, lips. So most of this look is Sigma. I'm going to a concert tonight and I wanted to dress up a little bit so I played around as usual. I showed my mistakes and I experiment a lot. I like to try new things, new techniques and figure things out. Troubleshooting is very fun for me when it comes to makeup. I'm hoping to grow a beautiful community here, which I already have. We have so many women here that are loving, caring, full of light and positivity. I hope that entices you to join us, to subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I do go live once in a while and those are a lot of fun. You guys have to keep me on track a little bit when I do that and I get to talk to you and learn about you as well. That is one of my favorite things to do. I never know how to transition into the next part. Let's just get on with the video. I was gifted something that I've been wishing for. I received a gift in the mail from Sigma. I actually own one of these, only smaller, at the Sigma Spa Express Brush Cleaning Mat. Yay, that should save my hands. I have the Sigma F53 Air to sweep blush or bronzer. Perfect, nice, soft, dual-ended fiber brush. I love a soft brush for bronzer. Bronzer? Blush and bronzer. It's so nice to be able to add more rather than add with a stiff brush and then have to blend it out. So I'm excited to try that one. I have the F80. I feel like I had this years ago. Is this an older brush? So this is gonna press my foundation on like I always do. They gave me the F48. Oh, I think I'm gonna like that one better actually than the last one. I'm used to using a brush like this one. I'll use both. Then I get on here with my lips dry. E27. This looks like a great eyeshadow brush. Okay, so it's flat on this side, but then if you turn it, you can see it goes wider. So I think this would be a good packing brush, but also a good blending brush. This is an E21. Great smudge brush. What eye look am I gonna do today? I have to do something nice. Oh, the packaging of this is different. This is a F03 high cheekbone highlighter. Pretty, nice and soft, fluffy. Honestly, you can use a brush for whatever you want. The label's great, especially if you're not sure but don't be afraid to play. I think if I ever got merch, that's what I'd say on it. Don't be afraid to play. This is an F12. This is for setting powder. This would be great for a blush as well though. Perfect for powder. Even for bronzer in the real detailed areas up here in the hairline, I can tell you this is a concealer brush. This is an F72. Anything dense like this at an angle, that will fit perfect right in the nook and around the nose and right here. I'm gonna say this is for bronzer. It's a multitasker. I was close. Quickly apply foundation, blush, or contour. I feel like I hit the lottery. This is an E30. This looks like a good pencil brush. Yeah, perfect. Right for under here. And I would use it here too. I use, oh, that's nice and soft. There's one that I have from MAC and I love MAC, but their pencil brush is quite stiff and pokey. This one is very soft. They gave me a liquid pen eyeliner. Should I try that tonight? Oh yeah, I could either make a big mess or maybe it will go really smooth. It's hard on older eyes. I was always so good at doing it for other people, especially with a gel liner, but it has gotten more difficult on me. Oh, amazing. They gave me their brush cleaner. Yay, I haven't tried that one before. They gave me a couple shades in their bronzer. Blush Nearly Wild. I've got a couple of cream blushes. They sent me their light to medium spectrum color correcting duo. I own this, I've shown it in many videos and I need a new one. So I'm hitting pan on one. I love cool neutrals. I'm so excited. Oh, oh. oh what am I gonna do? They must have a good brush in here being that it's a brush company. Yeah, an E38 and an E54. They sent me their eye base primer. I'll use that today for sure. This is Persuade. That would be similar to Painterly from MAC. Feels creamy. And then Bubbly. I can't do it without looking. Oh, that's pretty. I can't wait to see how long these last. They're all labeled eyeshadow base primer, so they must last. This one is called Radiance. We'll put that there. It's got a yellow gold tone. And this one is called Ignite. So I've got two mattes. This would be similar to Soft Ochre. That would be kind of similar to Painterly. A little bit darker though, I'd say. We've got a yellow gold and then we've got a pink shimmer. 
but it's not too pink. I think I'm gonna start off with my eyes first because I don't know if I'll have any fallout or anything and I really wanna play. And then I'll go on with my foundation. There's so much I can do here. Options for a Libra are dangerous. <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna put the oil on right now so that I don't look like I have dry lips going through this video. Enriched with a hoba oil, sunflower seed, and vitamin E. Oh, that's nice. I have black on me, how did that happen? This doesn't feel too thin. Sometimes I feel like an oil can be too thin and it's like, what's the point? But that's nice. Oh no, they gave me a lip mask. Oh, I should try that instead. Abort. They sent me the color Hush. It comes in four Hush, which is a clear, pink sheen. There's also Tranquil, which is a fresh pink sheen. Tint, which is a neutral nude sheen. And All Heart, which is a berry mauve sheen. It feels like a mask. There's definitely a difference between this and the lip oil. It feels richer. It's enriched with hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. While that's sitting, I'm gonna go on with my eye makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and use a matte base. This one is Ignite. gonna blend it out with my finger. This is what I would do with my other eye primer. So it goes on fairly thick, but then you spread it out. And I switched fingers, I don't know if you noticed that. So one has the product on, so I switch it. This one doesn't have anything on it, I can switch it up. Just like that. Just roughly dab it on and then spread it out. A little bit goes a long way. That gives me a nice clean canvas so I can try these fun colors. Do any of you use tape to do this? I don't, sometimes I think I should, but I never do. Oh, that's pretty. I always do these cooler tones though. Pretty. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use more of these colors in here. So I'm gonna use my E40, and I think I'm gonna go into this one. I do find it hard to imagine my eyeshadow when my skin's not done. Okay, so this brush feels nice. It's nice and soft, and because it's soft, it's giving me a nice blur, a nice blend. I'm holding my brush on an angle like this, so it's gonna hit the brow bone. If I were to hold it like this, it would land in a different spot. So I always hold it pointing up on a 45 degree angle, basically. So I know it's not gonna to go too low. This color reminds me of Uninterrupted by MAC. I'm only gonna show you one eye to make this video a little shorter. This color is called Superior, by the way. I didn't tell you. And then I'm going into Harvest. And this is the E33 brush. And I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit right here. So placing the product where I want it to go and then blend. And I can work it up a little bit, but it already has that other color to blend into. I'm not gonna worry too much about this area because I don't have any foundation on, I can clean that up. I'm gonna use MAC Bittersweet. It looks like this. I would say it's like a warm brown. And I'm gonna deepen this up. I'm gonna smudge this out anyways, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna use my E20. Oh, this is a nice brush too. Right into the lash line and work it up. Now that's just gonna be my base for the darker colors. This dries down quick. 
It's a pro long wear lip pencil. Oh my God, it's a lip pencil. I'm using a lip pencil for my eyeliner, oh, but it's working. What? It was in my eyeliner collection. Seriously. There's never a video without a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna go back into this color, which is Harvest. I just wanna fill that corner in. Wiping this brush off on a towel. Since it's empty, I'm just gonna blend it all in. Yeah, that looks softer. Get out of there. Is my head crooked? <laughs> They're not at all even. This side needs to go like that. And I'm bringing that same color and lifting my eye up this way. Oh God, my neighbors are arguing in the back. This is kind of why we're looking for a new house. Not because they're arguing, just because, oh, they're too close. I mean, people argue, that's not a problem. I wish this had a lighter matte color, but that's okay. Might as well go in all the way, why not? I'm using an E27 and I'm gonna go into Brazil. I wanna start it right in there first. And no higher than that. And then I'm actually just gonna turn the brush around because this is empty. And I'm gonna go in with this one this one is called Angel Wing, and I'm gonna go right in here. The shimmer is fine, so it's not glittery. Not that I mind glitter. All right, good. Now I'm gonna go on with the face. I'm gonna try the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is, oh, it says to shake well. I don't think I did that in my live stream. Hmm, interesting. I got it in the color 260. I'm gonna use my F43. I forgot a little bit goes a long way. I'll have to spread it out. Oh, they are really not happy with each other today. One pump goes a long way. Coverage is nice, eh? I've been trying so many things out, I can't remember how I felt about it the first time. Always remember the ear. What a difference it makes when you get your skin nice and clear. Everything starts coming together with the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sigma Color Correcting Duo. Depending on whether I have a self tan or not will depend on how much I dip into the light one versus the not so light one. So I do have a self tan today. I'm just gonna equally press into it. And yeah. Right in there. Should I go save her? Do you think if I yell out the window I'm filming, do you think it will stop? They don't speak English. I like this brush. It's like my finger. I got a little shimmer in my crease, which I don't mind, but I am gonna clean it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna dip into the two of these actually and clean that up just a touch. Yeah, I'm gonna get a real eyeliner instead of a lip liner. I have to look. I'm like, please get along. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Bark. I'm going out tonight, so I want it to be a little bit more dramatic. Just right there. I'm gonna smudge that out before it sets and take it in a little bit there. I 
I could always put my brush onto the product if I want to be more detailed, but I'm going for a little bit of a smudgy look so it doesn't bother me. Are you surprised this is working out? I kind of am. Not because of the product, just because of me. Oh my God, you guys, they're building a garden. And I don't know, sometimes I think couples should not work together. Clearly one person thinks he's the boss. I wonder if he would treat staff that way, like hire somebody. For this eye, I'm going to put some on the brush actually, because it's a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna do the same thing on top to clean this up. This is definitely smoother and more forgiving to work with. I wonder if my husband can hear them fighting. The drama. Just slowly building. Going back in with my E33, and I'm gonna go in with this one right here. This is called Volcanic. So it has that cream shadow to stick to. And I'm just blending it out with that darker color. Buddy, it is just not that serious. They're the people that have given us a couple apology letters because of the noise. Not from fighting, just from being bad neighbors. This is a first for the fighting. So I guess I'll forgive it. It just keeps getting more dramatic, but I like that. I'm going to a concert. I'm gonna use this brush again. This is the E27. I'm just gonna dust it off on the towel on my knee. And I'm going to go in with this one. I wanna pull some of that shadow down, make it more blurred. Is that just how they talk in that language? Yelling? Do we like that? Which one do we like better? Maybe he's yelling at her because he thinks she can't hear. There, I think that looks better. Maybe they're not mad at each other at all, but it just sounds like he's mad. I feel like this side goes out a little bit further. I'm gonna let that dry because this is still wet on there and if I try to add more, it's gonna be all goopy. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I found my Kosas Brow Pop Nano. My car was in at the shop and they found it. Sandy, it was you, I think. You were asking what was better, whether it was a CoverGirl brow pencil or the NYX Lift and Snatch. They both do different things and I'll show you here as well. I can create hair-like strokes with this because it's so fine. And you can do that with the NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen as well. A pencil that's a little bit thicker will give a softer line. It just depends on the look you're going for. Using this, I'm not sure if I'll need my NYX Lift and Snatch. Yeah, I don't think I will because this is precise and I can really fake a brow with this. I like this one better than the Benefit, the new one. The brow detailer, it kept breaking on me. This one's not breaking. I liked it and I like the color. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. I'm so hot, I'm shiny. I'm putting the foundation to the test. Mm, I'm getting my brows thicker today. Oh, one looks good. It's kind of square there. I'm gonna just take some of that off and soften it. Why am I not centered? Maybe out a little bit here. What is this hand doing? No idea. Oh, I forgot. It's this side, right? I'm just gonna flick it out and see if I can cheat it a little bit. I feel like this side is a little bit thicker. Good enough. You know what? I made a mistake. That brush that I used for my eyeliner, this is the one I used for my shimmer and I'm wondering why am I looking like I've got some shimmer down here? That's why you don't get lazy with your brushes. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Let me do my mascara first. 
This is Maybelline Falsies Surreal Mascara. I'm really trying to use up the mascara that I have. Rather than wiping this off, I'm gonna use a little bit of an eye cream. Instead of an eye makeup remover, it's more gentle and it does the trick. Doesn't look too bad on camera, I don't think, but I can see it in my mirror. Same thing, I'm just gonna go back in with the duo corrector and that's gonna make it look so much brighter. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna use my house labs to set underneath my eye before it gets moving around there. I'm just doing the T-zone right now because I have to do my contour and my blush. All right, let's check out this bronzer. They gave me the light and the medium. This is the light. Feel like I'm gonna be the medium. This is the medium, this is the light. I'm going for the medium. You know what, I'm gonna dust a little powder, just a touch so it doesn't grab, not a lot. I'm gonna go in with my F76. That's pretty, that's a good color. This is my good side. I have no idea how I'm gonna wear my hair tonight. I have to figure that out. Not like this, that's for sure. It is handy to have my hair up though when I'm doing this kind of work because I can see. I posted a video today, it's Saturday by the way, and I could see that I didn't get right up into my hairline. I'm gonna use my Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. Just a touch. And I'm gonna use my E21 and dip it into that a little bit. Just wanna clean up my brows. Something I never used to do, but I seem to be doing it in every video now. It's not necessary, but feels good. Uh-oh, I made a mistake. No, me? I feel like I need to go a little higher. I'm gonna use my E25. I'm going into my House Labs powder and just setting that and blending the edge of my eyeshadow. It cleans it up and hides any wobbles. I have an option of a cream blush, coral, or pashmina. Not sure if I want a cream or a powder, so we'll see. Let me see if I can show you. That's pretty. It feels very wet. I'm gonna let that sit and see if it will dry down. It's a very pretty color. Then I have Coral Dawn. It's very sheer, which I don't mind because I can build it up. I'm a little afraid to do that right now, so I think I'm gonna use the powder instead just to be safe because I'm going out. I feel like the cream blushes might be better for a more natural look but I have no idea because I haven't tried it, so don't take my word for it. This is called Sunset Kiss. Yeah, and then we have Nearly Wild. This is pretty too. Hmm, this is quite dark, so I'm gonna go with the brighter, so I'm not really dark tonight. I wanna try this one. This is the F53 Air. This is gonna be pretty. This will give a nice light diffusion of that color. Oh, I like that brush a lot. Pretty, I'm happy. Yeah, that looks good. Before I forget, I wanted to line my inner rim with a brown. I'm gonna go with the Colorstay Multiplayer. This I used in the video I posted today. This is called High Stakes. I am going for it today, why not? I'm 
I'm gonna give my lashes another curl just to get them looking a bit more like fake lashes without putting fake lashes on. You see the difference? I can't do that with every mascara, but I can with this one. Cause sometimes it sticks. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna put another coat on. I think that's good. Now that I'm done my blush, I'm gonna go in with my House Labs again and touch right in here. That's about all that I need. Since I'm so dark with the eyes, I'm gonna go fairly neutral with my lips. I'm gonna use my Line Out Loud Lip Liner by NYX again. I like this one. Now I think I need something just a little bit deeper. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with Rosewood. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Can lips be sisters and not twins? <laughs> It's not even. For this look, I'm gonna use Forget the Filler by Lawless. I like the freshness of this too. Any goobers? No. See, that's good. I don't think I'm gonna put any highlighter on. Oh, maybe I will actually. Oh, I forgot they gave me one. Okay, this one is called Moonbeam. If it's too shiny, ooh, ooh. Oh, that actually looks really nice. I was scared actually. I thought this would be really bright. So I'm gonna use the highlighting brush. This is the F03. Look at my arm, it's such a mess. Oh, that's really pretty, that's elegant. Yeah, that's my style. Nice, I'm surprised. That's really pretty. Never judge a book by its cover. Just a little bit there and a little bit there. Okay, I like that. The only other thing, and I might be sorry, you guys, if you saw my video today that I posted, my nose looked so crooked and I'm determined to get it right. I had an idea as I was editing. Rather than adding dark down here, which just enhances all the crookedness. I'm gonna do a reverse contour basically and highlight my nose. Hmm, might be a mistake. I really need to go more over here. Right there. Yeah, that did it. Enough about that, let's just pat that out. It's a challenge that I enjoy though. So it's not like I'm picking at myself. I just really like to see how perfect I can get it, which is near impossible for me. I don't know how people do it. Now I have to go learn some country songs before the concert. I like to be able to sing along when I go. I hope this video helps you in some way and inspires you to try new things. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Sigma for your beautiful gift. Your generosity means so much to me and it helps me with my channel. I'm very grateful, thank you. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye.